Hello there YouTube. We're just polishing up bearing races, which if it wasn't a car wheel, on the old Schwinn. One of these bearings is in backwards. I'm trying to tell which one was this one. You know, it might be hard to see on camera, but you can see a bunch of lines, chattery looking junk in there. I'm trying to get some different. I'm on tele macro, but the lighting isn't the greatest. Look at that one. And this one. What I do is. I use these emery stones. I have one that was rounded, more rounded. Now I'll get down in there. You can change the shape with your stone. These stones come with your kits. Like you get a bunch of brass or garbage in your stone, you can clean it out. You can shape it, but you got to be aware of once that metal starts showing in the tip. That's what's bad about it. You're about done with using it for this. So I usually do these first. And on this, where my thumb is right here, or my finger right here, that hasn't been done yet. I don't know if that's going to show up very good. I know the lighting is changing in here. But I'll polish that out. I will take wire brush. This is a cup wire brush. See what happens when you take a cup wire brush too fast. But wear your safety goggles. They're right here on the desk. Wear your goggles. Yeah, after don't lecture me. But this is a cup brush. It normally goes like this. But I don't care. I'll ruin them for the job. But if I can't wire brush that crap out, no matter how much cleaning with a brush, gasoline, anything, I even use degreasers. You're going to have that scum on there. I don't know if anybody can see that. This hasn't been done yet. Right here. But the same with for your sprocket bearings. I just wire brush that. Trying to get where the camera can pick it up, just in one spot. I have saved these by doing the same thing. Taking this emery type bit and polishing that. I've saved wheels. I saved an expensive BMX wheel one day because the bearing was just, it was destroyed. They stuck the bearing in backwards. People make mistakes, they're not mechanics. But I did save it. I did save it for the guy. It was one of the expensive wheels. I don't know how many spokes it was. Kind of blue colored. That blue and the nice on the little 20 incher. But I haven't got the bearings out of the gas yet. They're soaking. And the bearings, I will wire brush the cage too if they're rusted. You got to be careful. You'll rip the bearings right out of that little tin cage that holds them. I wish I had one laying here, but I'm sure if anybody's in the bikes, they know what a bearing cage is that holds the bearings in. This I got lucky on. I don't have very many swing parts. This is your top piece. I always call this like the crown nut. It's pretty beat up. You gotta figure 1950s. This I got pretty lucky. I used a little bit of the emery. Then I took the wire brush to it. Now brass bristled brush. I don't know if anybody can see it. I have a brass one. These things will fly apart. They'll stick you in the face. I don't think it'll show up. I can see it. It leaves like a brass coating on there. And I was getting carried away. And if I go back to steel, it might take it off. When Twin first started out, there was an A and S. I can't tell you right now. I should have it in my head what the A means besides Twin when Twin first started out. So these go on here on the Springer. Yes. I can see it. It looks brassy, but oh well, I don't care. They're clean. Get an attitude about it. I probably could get it off. These are such hard steel that I used one of these on here. This one's pretty well. 
and it will throw sparks. This is a very hard steel. So I just ground and ground on these. There was no chrome on these at all. They were rusted, tarnished. So I can either clear lacquer these or paint them. I'll probably put clear lacquer on them. But Swain is its own bearing. They look squared. The bearings look flatter. I wish I'd had one in here before I filmed this. Schwinn is its own bearing. And they had it upside down. I think gouged one of these worse than the other one. It's this one. There's a line in there. Let's get it side by side again. Get the reflection on. Sitting here with the mini tripod behind the camera. The one on the right, there is a line in there. It was upside down. What I will probably do is put the bad bearing on the top because the bottom always has the load. And it's not a revolving, like on a wheel spinning, just turning. It's not that critical on a bike. Now, if you use it into a high dollar bike, I can see, but just an old bike, doesn't matter. I guess I'm all done with everything. Even this, here, show this real quick. I did this while it was on her. I'd stuck it on her. This was really bad because this is where the bearing was backwards and it made gouges in there and nicks and I polished and polished it the best that I can get it. But so much for that little short video. How to clean up your bearing races, bearing cups, whatever they call them. Thanks for watching.